So who makes the best cheap 12 volt inflator? I'm gonna test these just like I did the cordless there. But before we do, here's just some brief specs. Now, the main things here are gonna be the warranty, the duty cycle, and if you can also use it with AC power. So we're going to go ahead and get power here from the dyno, giving us 14.1 and 30 amps. From there, I do have an amp meter here looking at the draw. Each one of these supposedly is supposed to max out at 15. That's what uh, they are fused for internally. Then we have a gauge for verification on exactly what the pressure is and a dB monitor. One thing to note with this Pittsburgh, uh, says do not use to inflate vehicle tires, but we're gonna do it anyway here. So it's interesting that six minutes and about 45 seconds, she shut off here and we're only at 10 PSI. Now, one thing I would like to point out with this other Pittsburgh here is they do point out that they want you to start this compressor and then connect to the tire. Now I'm not gonna make you watch me test all these. We'll go right to that data here and take a look. So for inflating that tire, for the most part, uh, they're about the same. Now you'll see the one Pittsburgh there uh, doesn't have a bar. That's because it was shutting off roughly every six minutes and 45 seconds. So it ended up taking me about 55 minutes to get that tire up to 35 PSI. So like it says on the sticker there, yeah, it's not intended to inflate a tire. Could get you out of a pinch, but definitely not recommended. The more expensive Pittsburgh, yeah, I did it a minute faster than the others with the others coming in at around that six minute mark. Now here's a table of some other data I did collect. I did test max possible PSI, the amp draw, length of the actual power cord, and also length of the air hose, followed by the DB of the compressor under load. So not surprising, last place, gonna give it to the cheap Pittsburgh here. Pretty bad performance, analog gauge. Uh, it does come with some plastic adapters here as well. So unless you're inflating a soccer ball, basketball, something like that, I would stay away from this inflator. So next we do have the car sun here. Didn't really care for this gauge. On off button in the center. When you do turn it on, the light comes on as well. On the back, you do have this storage here for the hose just right there, does kind of fit back in the storage spot. Comes with your normal assortment of adapters and a spare fuse there, which some of that will store in here. And then you can store the wiring. So yeah, pretty simple little storage option, keeps everything together. Again, to me, just seemed kind of basic of a bunch, but it did get the job done. Astro, Pretty much the same deal, same style gauge here with the same sort of adjustment. So you do have PSI, bar, KPA, KGCM. This one you can turn the light on without having the air compressor running. So you do have this two position switch here. One would be light and pump run, two is just that LED light. Nothing real fancy. I do like that it does have an LED on the power supply there showing you that it is getting the 12 volts. And it does come with that same assortment, just like the Carson. Thermos here. So one thing I did notice, you would preset this and if for some reason power was pulled away, you powered it back up, you'd have to start back over again. 
So keep that in mind on your preset. It's a little bit bigger than the rest. It does have this carrying handle here at the top. You do have your on and then your button there for the LED light. Does have a little holder here for the hose. If you do have it positioned right, it will sit down in this slot. Of course, I need to turn it a little bit, but you get the idea. Same kind of deal with a small assortment and the spare fuse. And it's got a holder here in case you got one you commonly use. You could put it in this holder right here. A pretty big benefit to this one is it comes with the AC adapter, which you can plug in on the side here and run it off of AC power. And you get a flimsy little bag, of course, here to store the inflator in, which is something. Back life, pretty much the same deal. Again, you can select between PSI, bar, and KPA, KGCM, but this one will hold your preset. You do have separate buttons here for inflating and the light. Light there, nothing real fancy, but hey, it's better than nothing. Little cubby here where you could store the hose and the power cable. It does come with a assortment with the, of course, with a fuse there. So we look at the bigger Pittsburgh here. Yes, the performance is much better than the other ones. We do have a metal frame. Now, one drawback is, yeah, analog gauge, no light, comes with this flexible PVC hose there. One thing that is kind of interesting, it does have an old style air coupling here. Just a simple rocker switch to turn it on and off. Those basic assortments there and a decent little case. Astro AI here, you'll find that same digital gauge, which was found on the other ones there. Does come with screw on or an adapter to go to a clip on. You get that full set of adapters there and a fuse. And you do have a button here for the light so you can run the light by itself. And then if you switch that on, of course, the air compressor there will start. And it does have the LED showing that it's powered. EP Auto here, kind of similar to the Pittsburgh, but it does have a digital gauge similar to the other ones there. You do have the screw-on style here. Small assortment there and an additional fuse. It's kind of interesting it uses that style of fuse instead of one actually in the connector. The LED light if it's plugged in, is always on. And it does come with this small case. Now, first place, I'm actually gonna give it here to the VAC Life. You do have both power options, so 12 volt or AC power. Now, when you power it up, what makes this different than the other ones is it actually shows you your target here on the side. Where the other ones, you would set it, and then it'll disappear until it gets up to that target. So you always have that target here showing you what you have it set to. And then there is a bar across the top to show you the progress on how far it is to that target setting. Now, if you do hold the units button here, long press, it will turn on the large LED light here on the back. I really like this setup here with the gauge and the LED lights on the side, plus the option to be able to use AC power. And just like the other ones, you do get that small assortment there. Honestly, the only thing I wish this had was a storage bag, but you know, is that really a deal breaker? I really don't think so, but it would have been nice. I'll also leave the link below to this adapter. Now this is 10 amps to go from AC to 12 volts. So links will be below like normal. Thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.